Hello there, real gamers and all you gatekeepers out there. Retro Rob here, and welcome to part three of the Galeco collection as played on the Evercade Versus. I think you guys probably, but well, maybe this is your first one, I don't know. But anyway, if it is your first one, go watch, go watch part one. But anyway, you should be used to this by now. This is the front of the box. Wait, this is the front of the box. Guess I should have looked at the monitor. And this is the back of the box. I'm gonna mention that I did a way better job of this during the unboxing video of the Evercade Versus, but you know. But I should mention, I should mention on the Evercade, these are physical games. You get a game cartridge. And you look right here, you also get a manual. It's not like, um. It's not like a full manual or anything, but it does describe the game a little bit and it gives you the controls, which is, I think, pretty nice, you know? Not bad at all. Anyway, today we've got uh, one of those classic isometric racers that was, it, you know, it was released in the arcade. Uh, these are really hard. I have a really hard time with these games, so the gameplay, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be rough. Anyway, let's read the description. Hold tight for the ride of your life and listen to your co-driver. Gilco's breakthrough hit puts you behind the wheel of a powerful rally car and the ultimate battle against the clock. And here are the controls. They're very basic. Steering and accelerate. That's it. Let's try it out. All right, here we go. Let's plunk some quarters in. Nine of them. Hopefully that'll be enough to make it. The way I play this game, probably not. Choose a rally. We'll do easy. Remember, this is an arcade game, and even the easy is not super easy, to be honest. The thing with arcade games is they were really meant to uh, plunk quarters into. So. They're not super easy. Generally speaking. Come on. close there isn't the Neo Geo ones that actually have like a voice that they actually tell you hard right that would make the game a little easier all right so here we go sorry about the little cutout there I was taking a break this next section here 50-50 on whether I'll make it through it the first run. So if you make it through the track within 60 seconds, the game will continue. If you don't, then you gotta plop another quarter in there. Plop another quarter in there, sorry. Uh, otherwise... The game will end. There we go. <sighs> Don't think I really hit that, but whatever. Far be it for me. I like the way it does that to freak you out. Ah, uh, time exceeded. Didn't make it. It was kind of close, though. Kind of close. All right, let's try it again. So there we go. Another quarter has been lost. I've now spent 50 cents.
Come on. A lot of spitting out. Got a little close there. Woo! Number two. Finished. And my position is number 13. Stage three. Asta Spaghetti. And here's where I'm totally going to fall flat. Seven credits left. Come on. Ah! Messing up. Come on. Come on, can do it. This track seems so much longer than the other ones. Ah, uh, I did it! Oh, that is crazy! Made it! With, let's see, what have I spent? 75 cents, I believe. No, 50 cents, right? 50 cents. Well, I'll be darned. I ended up in 11th place. That's amazing. And now I can go on to medium. And, uh, that's it. <laughs> and that wraps it up for World Rally as played on the Evercade versus part of the Galeco collection. One of six games on there. And, uh, just note, I'll be covering biomechanical toy next it's a bio yeah biomechanical toy next so we'll see how that goes anyway game itself is enjoyable i like isometric racers uh that said i'm not terribly good at them especially the kind that have kind of that controlled steering uh, a lot like the neo geo racing games do but uh it has nice graphics and it is enjoyable to play you know even though i'm horrible at it Anyway, if this video helped you in any way or was enjoyable, please do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye!